Tokyo, we have an audience of uh, uh, fashion and uh, mind. Uh, we're here in the, one of the most famous TV stations in the Gulf States with my friends here. Um, shukran. Tfadalu. Tfadalu. Yeah, speak a little. So my friend, he won a big prize uh, for uh, uh, science. And he tried to bring science to the Gulf States. And they were very uh, welcoming to technology, but not so much science. Uh, he was a friend of uh, uh, Steve Weinberg. And uh, I, I'm, I'm ashamed I don't remember his name. So they did not want the science to come into the Gulf States as much as technology. And I thought the reason was because science was corrosive to tradition and religion. I must correct that, but uh, yeah, anyway, it's okay. To not to, is science corrosive to more to tradition or more to religion? And what's uh, the difference between religion and tradition? Tradition, it's... Society has its own tradition, and religion is something related. I don't know where to where, but for example, if you talk about science and technology, these two guys are engineers and marketing something technology I don't understand. So, what do you think about uh, so what do you think about the, the origin of the species? If you're speaking about technology, origin of species, um, maybe Darwin was right. Was was Darwin good in technology? No, he didn't have an iPhone. No. Okay. Yeah, even when we in uh, American went to moon. They had computer less smarter than your phone now. So could could the iPhone teach? Could Darwin lose his job if we gave him an iPhone? Oh, for sure. I'm 100 percent sure. Could we say that Darwin would? Uh, he used to run around with a pad and a pencil, and that's how he would collect his information. So could we say that Darwin would accomplish more if he had an iPhone? In the realm of science, on the iPhone, if you had a calculator, internet, Google searches, Wikipedia access, high-speed internet, he would be McDonald's, good food. Uh, okay, I think he would be lost in all this information. He would be lost, or he would apply it no. faster. No, he would be lost. Small example: when Einstein was introduced to the new theory of uh, uh, quark, and you know, after his famous. The relativity? Yeah, after his famous theory, there was a new theory about uh, quarks and quantum physics, and he was like unable to understand it or to accept it because he said like, God is not that much, I would say, uh, cautious. God yeah. is not so cautious. Yeah, but the Einsteinian the, God yeah, or the traditional God? The traditional. I, um, I don't know what's, what God. Even Einsteinian means. God is not the traditional God. I, um, I don't know which one he believes in. But uh, anyway, even Einstein could it understand everything. But now everyone accepts this kind of mathematics as true um, physics, as a true physics. So. This is uh, the best day in Tokyo, you guys. Very nice, very nice.